Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Flowers, where today it is the day of the uh, summer festival. So we're going to see what happens, because uh, I'm pretty sure I've done everything I need to do. So we need to make sure that we go and see Angus for the shortcake and Thomas for the popcorn. And I'm going to have to give the bee sting cake out to some people. I have done a little bit of research um, because it needed doing, I think. Ooh, I'll let you know later. Exciting! <laughs> Shelby's so cute. I love him. Been an Emmy are uh, up to no good, probably. Enjoy the festival, and when you're ready, speak to Maya Gloria to proceed to the nighttime beach celebrations. I've yet to see anyone jump over a fire yet, though. Let's have a look at this popcorn, then, please. Yes. Take some caramel popcorn, Tara. Please. If I have extra at the end of the night, it'll all go to Zephyr. Mm-hmm. She'll enjoy that, though. I feel bad taking it now. A corny request. Hey, Tara. Francis said you helped him get the gold for our wedding bands. They came out really nice. Thanks. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Your gran would have been proud of all you've done here. Um, wow. That's kind of you to say, Thomas. It's just the truth. Well, I better get back to my garden. Yes, you had. Enjoy. Gonna have a chat to everybody starting at the left, going to the right. So let's start with Damon. What Tara, have you got to say? It's summer weed ale season again. And I can see you've been enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lead by example. <laughs> Do you know what? I, just, I would love a day off where I could just go out and enjoy the sunshine and drink. Not beer, beer's gross, but you know, something relaxing. So I spent like mm -hmm. five days chopping all that wood for Sophia. Uh huh. And now we're gonna burn it all in the course of an evening. That's great. I feel great about that. <laughs> I did it last year. Um, you should have asked me this year though, because I have a, a, a robot that does it. A whirly gig. Ah, uh, another summer festival. At least I got Angus to promise to put on some sunblock this year. Oh, that boy needs sunblock. He has he has the redhead skin. Scottish jeans and the longest, brightest sun of the year are not a great combo. Nope. See, I'm quite lucky. I've got, like, very fair skin when I stay in and never go outside and end up looking like a ghost. However... When I do go out in the sun, my skin will generally, as long as I don't push it too much, just start to go brown rather than go red. You know, some people will just go red. I am not one of those people. I will go brown. I can go quite dark brown if I spend enough time out in the sun, but I do not because uh, I like to stay in it and play computer games. <laughs> Enjoying your summer break, Emmy? Yeah. But school isn't so bad now that her teacher isn't, like, literally a bad witch. I think Vanessa cared about you, though, so don't be so mean. I learned that word from Miss Joshi. She says most people say literally when they mean figuratively. And she's very right about that. It really makes her mad. I probably am guilty of that myself, so, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Sophia. I think we're getting to the point now, though, in because what Giver should also be saying and maybe isn't saying because she's a scientist and they see things in very black and white terms. However, linguistics is not a science. Okay, Giver. And sometimes what will happen is that the language will evolve. So if enough people say it wrong, it'll eventually be right. And I know that a lot of people... Don't like that, but it is true. <laughs> Doesn't Thomas make the best popcorn? Yeah. I admit, I might be a teeny bit biased. 
Is it Kai that keeps trying to tell him he has to put different flavours on and stuff? Okay, so now I've done this group, let's go to the back and do Violet. This festival is so fun! Eh, it's fine, I guess. You should have been here when my dad was mayor and my mom was captain. <laughs> that was a slimming party. Mm-hmm. What does Lena have to say about the festival? Uh, we're still apparently on Violet there. Okay, no, Lena? Sometimes I marvel that the Summer Festival bonfire doesn't bother Parker at all. So much perfectly good wood just going up in smoke. You do live in a place with a lot of trees, so... Juliet, are you going to play at your mom's wedding? I think so. Mom offered for me to be a bridesmaid, but then I would have to walk down the aisle in some uncomfortable dress in front of the whole town. Mm. Playing music is so the better way to go. <laughs> I would say so, yes. So one thing I think is probably going to happen, I think this is going to be a summer wedding. I've done so much wedding prep up to the summer festival. I think the second half of summer may well be about the wedding. I tried to remember if there was like a fall festival last time, last year. Was there? We definitely had a winter one. Trying to remember. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we must have. Um, I remember the spring one is obviously all about the Easter eggs and stuff. All right, let's go get Angus's cake and then we'll do all the people around in in this area. And then we'll go and do all the people over that area. Oh, I'm very happy to see you, Tara. Here's some shortcake for you and anyone you're sweet on. It wouldn't be a festival without an Angus pun. I got quite a lot of strawberry shortcake there, didn't I? Right, okay, let's start at the beginning, which is Giver here. Going right to left. Like like how you read if you are Japanese. I'm so relieved. I thought we would do for a depression. Well, the summer festival would cheer anyone up. She means a weather depression. She means a low pressure front, which means rain. Oh, no, I meant an atmospheric low pressure system that causes a tropical cyclone. They're more common in the summer. But it seems it's going to stay offshore. Oh. Yes, that is a relief. This is such a cool dress for the summer festival. I really like it. <laughs> I'm loving having dresses and hairstyles that are different now. I need to get a few more hairstyles, but we're doing okay, I think. Ugh, it's so hot I'm considering wearing shorts. Ooh, do it. Really? No. Oh. I went to Milkwater to get some new socks, but everything is cotton. You can't wear cotton on the water, it never gets dry. You don't want to have wet feet all day. Trust an old salt on this one. No cotton socks if you want them to dry out. I see. Isn't the key to keeping dry feet, though, having good boots? Hey, Cameron. Last summer, I felt like the festival was too steeped in backward superstitions. But now I see that it's quite harmless. I feel like he's really I coming mean, along. It's just some strawberry shortcake and a bonfire. Uh. It's not like anyone is making sacrificial offerings to mythical beings. Uh. Ha. Nope. That won't be happening at all. I figure it's gonna. I'm gonna have to give the cakes out at the bonfire part. Um. Talk to all the people, but yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing any of the Fae around. I'll make sure that they're not here. I'd hate to have missed that. Look at my husband. He's like a merry shortcake Santa Claus. He is. If Santa Claus was ginger and wore an apron. Like Santa Claus's young son or something. <sighs> What's wrong, Finn? Oh, I just used to always love pranking Mayor Soft during the summer festival. But pranking Mayor Moran is no fun. She's too nice. Well, find someone else to prank, like Cameron. Or like, uh, who else? Who else would be a good person to prank? Everyone's being too nice. Maybe Marty. Marty would be a good one. And Daddy says I really have to leave Messenger Cameron alone. 
or else. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. He decided the next person to prank is exactly the same person I decided would be the next person to prank as well. Ah uh ha -huh ha. -huh. What have you got to say, Shelbs? Don't forget to give your offering to the Fey folk if you brought them. Do no good just carrying cakes around in your pockets. You do seem to do that often, though. I do. I carry a lot of cakes around in my pockets. Uh, we don't want to talk to Gloria because she's going to start the next part of it. Um, let me just make absolutely 100% certain there are no faith folk like hiding around the corner or anything. And they will be coming to the beach part, not the town part. I wonder if I can talk to Hazel while the thing is going on. No. I think I've tried that before, actually. I'm going to make sure they're not just hiding somewhere. That would be a bit mean if they did that, though. I do think it's probably going to be the case that they'll be there for the beachy part. Okay. But thank you for reminding me, Shelby. That's very nice of you. So just Kai, Sebastian, Parker, Yuri, and Natalia to talk to you now. Ah, the summer festival is my favorite. Beach, bonfire, baked goods. What's not to like? Exactly. So, how does it feel to be a high school graduate? Weird, honestly. I spent my whole life going to that little one-room schoolhouse. I'm signed up for some online college courses, and Sophia says she doesn't mind if I study in her diner. So you'll spend your life in the diner or on the end of the pier. Did you know your grandma Hazel dared me to jump over the bonfire my first time at the summer festival? I did not know that, but it does not surprise me. <gasps> no, she didn't. Yeah, I thought she was just hazing the new guy, but I guess it was really a thing back in her day. And Sebastian was going to do it with... Viol uh, no, with uh, Juliet, wasn't wasn't he? I think so. Right, Yuri, let's have a chat. My mom and daddy would have loved to have seen Faye walk around so freely here. What? They used to tell me stories about places like this. Guess they weren't fairy tales. Oh, we're starting to get the idea of uh, a little bit of magic in the family there, Yuri, are we? Will you be the next to join the coven? People get brought here for a reason. I thought about going shopping for some new summer clothes, but synthetic fabrics are everywhere these days. Pardon me if I don't want to go near an open flame in a polyester blouse. <laughs> that might not be so great. <laughs> get some Kevlar, though. <laughs> That'd probably be all right. Some, uh... Teflon. <laughs> right, I think we need to start the next phase. Um, I'm kind of assuming I've not seen any of the Fae folk anywhere, so if for any reason they're not on the beach, I guess I have to reload and start again. <laughs> but hopefully they should be. What do you think, Tara? Should we head to the beach now for the bonfire? Let's do it. Great. Everyone, it's time for the bonfire. And we have a special surprise for yeah. you this year. Yeah. I will just run straight to the beach transition, I think. Before we light the bonfire, I want to bring to light a recent discovery. Okay. Our summer festival celebrates the day that the Doll Sisters saved the town by hiding the town stores in the lighthouse. But they had help. Today, I've invited the descendant of their friends, the Grimsparks, to join us. Pop! <laughs> it's them again! Is this a good idea? Yes, they're perfectly fine. Ah, oh, clam it, Cameron. Excuse me? <laughs> Ahem. Welcome to our summer festival. The humans of Fairhaven have not invited us to their midsummer rites uh, for centuries. 
We were certain we had been forgotten. <sighs> Maybe once, but not anymore. It's time to crown the Summertide Star. And I name Zephyr. <gasps> Me? I didn't even oh, think gosh, of Zephyr. I, oh my goodness. That's such oh, a good idea. Geez. I'm waiting for Zephyr to disappear. And now, let's light the fire. Oh. <laughs> right, give an offering cake to each of the Fae. There you go, Perry. I have something for you, Perry. This is acceptable. Thank you. I'm so glad it's acceptable. Zephyr, my summertide star. Oh, this is so cute. Here you go, Zephyr. I thought I'd get to choose, but I'm still like quite happy with what has happened. Oh, you know, I can't say no to sweets. And here I thought this day couldn't get any better. Aww. Oh, she gave me a powered emerald. Thank you. This is for you, Ariel. Ah, quite nice. These are my favorite. Well, after malasadas, of course. Don't you even start talking about those stupid malasadas. Whoa. A cure sickness potion. And finally, Wesley. Here's something to welcome you to our festival, Wesley. Oh, Tara, you are too kind. The our guest is done. Lovely. And I got some vellum in return for that. Wonderful. Now I have spoken to everybody except for the Fae, so let's have a little My chat hedgehog with them. friends told me the witch's gate has been repaired. Good. We must all protect the gloaming and its magic. We must. Oh, I can give you a present Take as well. Take care of yourself, sweetheart. I worry about you getting heat exhaustion. She'll be okay. She's a she's a hardy wild, used to farming now after a year of doing it. Um that's the last roast pork. I'll have to make some more stuff for you. I think uh, we've got some roast beef to make. I oh, grew the carrot especially. Thank you. Hazel used to make this for me, but your version? It smells even better. Okay, uh, I'll have a chat to Perry and chat to Zephyr. It surprises me when Amira stops by the apothecary, but I am glad to see her well. Aww. Did I talk to Wesley? Yeah, I did. We just haven't done a boot the snoot. Okay. Um, and I think we've talked to everybody now. Except, oh, maybe not Zephyr. Okay, let's have a chat. Summertide star. Thanks again for helping with Sebastian's fealty incantation. My pleasure. Do you know how many times I've screwed something up and nearly made the place explode? It happens. I was going to say, you'd be the one person that really would understand. That's nice that he can visit us now. So many Mirandas just running around Ravenwood Hollow these days. <laughs> Three of them, yeah. Right then. That's me done with everything and everybody. Um, so at the moment, just where we are with things is the only people that we don't have up to the top of where we want them. In terms of, like, relationships. Once, uh, it's going to be dating, dating husband there, or dating, dating wife, or whatever, so... Obviously, it's taken Amira and, um, Kim away now. So, there's only really, like, Kai, Damon, and Cameron, and Giver. Yeah, um... Damon, Kai, Cameron, and Giver that I don't have like full hearts with because otherwise it would take them into dating territory, like I've explained a few times. So uh, we're absolutely fine with everybody where they are. Yuri, I would like to get to four stars as well. Obviously, I don't really want to date her either because we're already married to Wesley. Um, and 
I don't know how the game deals with that, to be honest. It might be that you're allowed multiple partners or something, and you can marry five people at once or something, but it's not how I'm going to play it this time anyway. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And Gloria, wherever she is, is on, um, we're looking for the third cutscene and then the fourth cutscene for her, so... Yori is going to be the main one we're working on, but I need to get a cutscene. I think it might happen in her hairdressers, because that's been closed the last couple of days. So we'll go in there, and even if it doesn't happen in there, we will still have uh, lots of hairstyles to unlock and things like that. So, you know, I'm going to want to visit her quite a lot anyway. But I think we're done with the festival now. We had a wonderful time. That was really fun. Am I sure I'm done with the summer festival? Uh, yes. We got our popcorn, we got our strawberry shortcake, we gave out the beasting cakes. Okay, so uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you about. So now I know a thing, because uh, I had a, a little look on the wiki, and the wiki is good enough to not be too... Um, uh, not be too explicit about where things come from. It kind of tells you what characters they come from, but it doesn't give you too much info about other stuff um so this one is going to come from a quest i know what that is and it's going to come from a quest this one will come from a quest this one will come from a quest and this one will come from a quest okay so i know what like most of them are i think anyway Yes, I know what that one is as well. Um, yeah, so they're all going to come from quests. The only one that I don't know. There's this mystery one here. If anyone knows what that is, do let me know in the comments. Because I think it's been quite nearly added. It probably is a quest one as well. Um, but it's not on the wiki. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find anyone mentioning it. Anyone mentioning it online. A picture of it. Anything. It's like a mystery dish. So... It might come as a surprise, but if you know that I might miss it, please do let me know. The rest of them, I know vaguely where they're coming from. And then we will we'll be able to finish it. It'll be wonderful. There is a... <laughs> I knew that had happened. Dear Tara Wilde, Thomas Lightfoot and Sophia Moretti request the honour of your presence at their wedding. Location, the Lightfoot Farm. Date. Sunday at 10 a.m. Sophia and Thomas. This Sunday at 10... Is that tomorrow? Is that like this Sunday as in tomorrow? I think it might be. Because it's a Saturday right now. Good grief. Okay. Well then. Should we go to bed? Is there anything I want to do? I'm happy to go to the wedding in this dress. It's my cute summer dress. I love it. It's amazing. We are going to make some more clothes though to go into autumn with. Um, let me have a look what we've got. So we've got this adorable cute thing to go and work in or just casually wander around. I've got my little jogging set here. Uh, this is what I meant to be wearing to be maid of honor. Maybe we should go to sleep in that. Because uh, that's what we're supposed to be wearing tomorrow. Mm. Is it Violet time made for it for bed? Me. I've been hanging on to it for ages because of that. Yeah, it's time for bed. I think mm. we want to push forward into this wedding and then I can start getting other tasks. And we'll continue to look for the four fish I'm missing as well. Good morning, world. Because it is Sunday, head to Thomas's farm for the wedding. Wow. Morning. Are you ready to go to Thomas and Sophia's wedding? Um, do I want to change my hair first? I, yeah, I want to... Not yet. Give me one minute. Okay, let's just quickly have a look and see if I want a different hairstyle. I know, I'm so vain now. Shame I don't have an olive... Do we want to just go with, like, standard Tara? I would love to have the long-haired... I don't like the copper as much, you see. We're not doing space buns for a wedding. I refuse. So it's either ponytail or classic wild. I think I'm going to go back for classic wild. Let's sort the eyebrows. 
Let's go. Morning. Are you ready to go to Thomas and Sophia's wedding? Just looks a bit more classy than having your hair up in a ponytail for a wedding. Yep, let's go. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. She's got the bouquet. Oh, look at the dress. The violet made for her. Oh. My heart. Oh, my heart. We are here today to celebrate the marriage of Thomas and Sophia. Thomas and Sophia do so much to keep our community fed. And today, they commit to nurture each other as well. Beautiful vows. Thomas, do you take Sophia to be your wife? I do. And Sophia, do you take Thomas to be your husband? I do. I now pronounce you married. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I believe that's a Jewish tradition, um, stamping on the crockery under the, under the sheet. Oh, Mama. Oh. Oh. I want to thank everyone for coming. Sophia and I will be heading to Milkwater for another celebration with my family, but we'll be back soon. Enjoy oh, the wedding pie, bit. everyone. We're getting wedding pie and not wedding cake. Uh. Angus didn't get to make a cake because she made a pie instead. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Enjoy the reception. So we're going to again talk to everybody. The whole summer tie star thing is such a cute notion. I'll be looking forward to it every year. Maybe one year it can be you. Ciao. I haven't gotten to know Sophia and Tom as well, but they seem perfect for each other. Just look at those smiles. Yes, indeed. <laughs> they do seem perfect for each other. Go and talk to the Mirandas. All in a little group over here. The summer festival was a hit. Seeing the community come together to celebrate something good will never get old. See, they should have had all of these interactions before, and obviously this has happened so fast afterwards. I remember at Lena and Parker's wedding, Giacomo said, Aviva gli sposi. It means, long live the bride and groom in Italian. I bet he's saying that, wherever he is on his side of the veil. Violet, Sophia's wedding dress is gorgeous. It's my finest work yet. If I do say so myself. I really hope she doesn't get pie on it. <laughs> if she does, she does. It's meant for the wedding. She's done the bit that it needs to be pristine for. Juliet jumped the bonfire with me and no one even noticed. It was lit. Aw, that should have been its own entire cutscene. Sorry, Sebastian. They 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 cheated you in that one. They they just should have made an entire cutscene, you and Juliet jumping over. I, I would have loved to see that. That would have been like, that would have been my thumbnail. <laughs> All right then. Juliet's gotten really good on her guitar, right? Mm. I feel like a proud big brother, even though, you know, we're not related. Yeah, Juliet was supposed to be playing the guitar. I didn't see her doing that. I'll talk to her right at the end, I'm guessing then. Um. Right, did Sebastian have anything else to say? No, that's all blanked out, so that's perfect. Did we talk to... Right, let's start with Damon, Kai, Angus. I can't wait to tell my parents about the Summertide Festival. My dad is going to flip when he hears how fast the barrels went dry this time. <laughs> At least they're only going off the island for a few days. I know I'm too dependent on the diner, but I can't help it. It's too good. I wish I had a diner I could go to every day. Well, actually, I say that. There's coffee shops everywhere. I could go to them every day if I wanted to. But I'd be pretty poor pretty quickly. I'd have to do, like, way more videos. <laughs> oh, don't tell Gloria or Violet, but I totally saw Sebastian leap over the bonfire when they weren't looking. I was stoked to see it. 
<laughs> Bringing back the old traditions. This wedding was great, but do you think it would be rude if I cut out early? Hmm. I saw the most perfect rollers on the uh, way here this morning. This is a boy that's serious about his surfing. Okay. Pie instead of cake. Let's have a chat about that then, Angus. Something about the summer festival air always puts me at my most hilarious. I had Finn doubled over laughing. And I was only hitting him with my cookie cutter material. <laughs> oh dear. Pie. I offered to make her the most elaborate three-tiered <laughs> confection and she went with pie. Oh, that's what she wanted. That's what she got. Come on, Angus. Just try a piece. I already did, and it was delicious. The crust was so flaky and buttery, I could have wept. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it so much. Your wedding next? Yeah? Autumn, Kim and Amira? Huh? Huh? I think I've totally fallen for Amira. She looked so beautiful at the bonfire. I offered to let Juliet crash with me while Thomas and Sophia go have their second wedding in Milkwater. Imagine meeting your new extended family all at once on your mom's wedding day. That seems overwhelming. But she probably wouldn't want to miss it either. It's a hard one. Bruno. I remember when my Helena was the summertide star. Still makes me weak in the knees to think of it. Look at that, Tommy did it. Just wishes Pa could have seen it. Your Graham too. I speak to the bride and groom last. I think we already spoke to Yuri. She's moved about, so. Okay, Emmy. Finn always laughs extra hard at Angus's puns, so he'll give him a second helping of strawberry shortcake, and it works every year. What a racket. <gasps> Angus was just saying about how much Finn was laughing. Oh my goodness. Finn and Emmy, you little devious little... <laughs> devious little monsters, I offered aren't to they? run the diner for Sophia while she was gone, but she said that would violate child labor laws. Yeah, you should probably stick to your lemonade stand for now. Eh, the margins on lemonade are good, but I read that the real money is in fries. I see. The real money is in the drinks. Go ask Damon about that. We've got to name Gloria the Summertide Star someday. She's been through a lot, and she's doing a great job with Fairhaven. Yeah, I was thinking about her, but I thought that um, probably with her wedding being so close, she'd be feeling pretty, like, all right about not being it. Maybe next year. I'm happy I could stand up there with Thomas today. We've had our disagreements, but he's become a good friend. And I know he'll always have my back, too. What's Marty got to say? Are you liking Thomas a bit better nowadays, or what? You know, I think I'd make a pretty decent summertide star one of these years. You can go after everybody else. <laughs> Fun chic weddings were so huge on social media. A few years ago. Oh no, you're so behind the times. But I can't blame Thomas for being behind on the trends. I bet he doesn't even have a pics to twit. Is that like half Instagram, half Twitter? Probably. Okay. Natalia and Cameron are standing together. It never really matters to me who's picked as this year's star. To me, Kim's my summertide babe. <laughs> Sophia makes such a beautiful bride. I peeked over at Thomas when she came down the aisle and he just beamed. I need a word with you about your your actions toward Angus. I think the seagulls are just as excited for the day after the festival as we are for the real thing. They swoop down and grab any berries or popcorn left. Daddy is Thomas's best man, because they're best friends now. Do you think I might be Sebastian's best man when he gets married one day? That would be cool. See, I think I maybe should have talked to Parker and Thomas a little bit more, because I feel like I missed a little bit about their rivalry at the beginning. Also, I wasn't so sure about, like, um, I think I may have missed Kim, 
Kim's dialogue about paint being thrown over the shop. And I may have missed uh, something to do with Marty and things happening to the to the ranch. So a couple of dialogues have been missed, I'm pretty sure. I've gotten a lot of them, though. It was fun leaping over the bonfire with Sebastian. We didn't even get caught. You did. Kai saw you. You played so beautifully, Juliet. Thanks. I was weirdly more nervous, even though I've had way more practice since Francis and Angus's wedding. More at stake, because it's your mom. She means more to you than Francis and Angus do. Like, you can't mess up at your own mom's wedding. You just can't. I've been thinking about Damon's wheat ale he served at the summer festival. Shame it's not on tap year round. That was such a lovely wedding. It was kind of Sophia and Thomas to invite me. I think they make a handsome couple, don't you? I think so too. I handed out pamphlets at the festival and I didn't see anyone immediately throw them away. Woohoo! Did they really have to have their wedding on a Sunday? Oh, come on. You wanted it. Your, if they'd have been at the conscience in a century, you wouldn't have cared. Well, yes. Sophia observes Shabbat. I know. I know. But I had a really good message written for this week. Yeah. So sorry they didn't avoid your holy day so that they could avoid Sophia's holy day. <laughs> like... <sighs> uh, seriously. Okay, so... Let's talk to the, the groom and the bride, then. I don't see why the Fae still demand offerings for the summer festival. What exactly do they do for the island? They look after the animals. Uh, Zephyr has fixed half the stuff on your farm. Eh? Yeah. that it? You've got nothing to say about your own wedding? Oh, I see. Okay. I got a little tipsy at the summer festival and Thomas ended up dragging me home to put me in bed. It's so nice to have someone take care of you for once. Hmm. Uh, I just had my first fitting with Violet. The fabric is just gorgeous, Tara. Thanks so much for helping make my special day even more wonderful. Here, have this. <laughs> Angus won't hear of letting me make wedding pies instead of one of his cakes. But I think the guests will like it. See, we should have had so many of these. I'm glad they I got to hear them all, though. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia. Okay, so I think we are done. Uh, maybe we can grab a slice of pie. Oh, There's apple pie as well. Nom nom. Oh, I nearly missed you two. Thomas looks so happy. I don't think I've seen him look this happy, well, <laughs> ever. I need to make more presents, so don't I for you, Mr. Wesley. So we can have our... Wow, we're actually nearly there. We're nearly there for the fifth out of six dates. So I'm not doing too badly at all. I was summertide star Were back you? in my day. Couldn't understand why anyone would want to make a fuss over old Shelby. Because you're adorable. Enjoying the wedding, Shelby. I was hoping there would be some Italian wedding soup. Or any kind of soup. I'm not particular. Aww. There you go. Is that heavenly aroma fish stew? Why, thank you. We had some leftover. I figured he could do with it. Okay, anybody else I've missed? So we managed to, I think we've managed to see everybody. Check there's nobody further over this side. And nobody like on the beach or anything. I think we've had Kai, yeah. Damon. I think so. Unless like Zephyr and Perry are like hiding anywhere or anything like that. But... Nah, I think, I think we're okay. Uh, I think we can leave now. That was a lovely wedding. That was so beautiful. Am I sure I'm ready to leave the wedding? Last chance for pie. Yeah, we got the pie, don't worry. The farmer and his wife. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It used to be a rhyme that we sung in like school when I was a kid, like the farmer wants a wife, I think. And then the dog wanted a bone and we all pat the dog or something, it's something along those lines. Right then, so what is going on now? We can put things in the wellspring. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I want, I think what I want to do is a little bit of fishing um, and a little bit of, now then it's Sunday, isn't it? So when is Yuri open? On a Sunday. So let's make hair dry. Take, oh, it's 5 p.m. already, rats. Not open on a Monday. Open on a Monday. Open on a Monday. Yes, only oh, close Wednesday to Friday. Right, so we'll be able to see Yuri tomorrow. So let's just check on all the conditioners. I've got loads of conditioners here. Look. Yeah, so um, basically at the moment, collecting the hairstyles, waiting for recipes to come as they come through uh, story-wise. And like I say, if anybody knows about that mysterious recipe that just seems to be there, but no one knows, knows anything about it, uh, do let me know. Because that, if that is something that I can get from fishing or digging up, then that's going to be... Uh, the last one that will come from fishing or digging up the others definitely won't so okay let's see what do we want to do some olive hair color we could do that do a bit of red do a bit of i'll get some orange dye so do a bit of orange a bit of purple nice thing you're making the dye on the same station Okay, so we'll take that down tomorrow, and in the meantime, we'll just do some fishing. Um, Clothing-wise, we could have a look and see if there's anything that I want to wear. We're not selling any clothes anymore, because Violet's shop, we have managed to finish. At least I think we did. Yeah, I'm almost sure we did. I'll double check it, but I'm almost certain that we finished that. So let's see... Uh, what other outfits might I like? That might be quite nice for like autumn time. Like the one with the leggings on it. I would like to make for the autumn ahead of time. Obviously, we've got some cute shorts. In fact, I might put Tara in cute shorts now because it's, it's, it's still summer, it's still very hot. And maybe pop her hair up. Okay, so we're gonna go for some space buns and like a, a casual style for running around the farm in. Still keep my nice, uh, my nice jewelry on though, because it's nice, it's pretty. So. I don't know about the cinnamon jacket. The truffle jacket is nice, I think. But seeing as we've already got one of that style, let's do some different styles. That's quite cute. Um, Divine Dandelion is very cute as well. I want to try one of the t-shirt and jeans because it might not be... They don't look very... They might look nicer on than they do on the rack. Let's put it that way. So I've got my mint on demand shorts. I've got my pink daydream leggings. I might make myself a mini dress at some point. But I'm kind of looking more for like work gear. So let's have a look what we've got here. So do we want to go with like the sugar plum full on? Pink field was was nice. We made that before. Or mulberry sparkle. What do you think? Mulberry sparkle or sugar plum peony? I think let's 
go, yeah, purple cloth and yellow silk thread. Yellow thread and then purple cloth. So I need to go down into my basement to make some purple dye for that. I should probably make a few purple dye because I'm going to be making more purple stuff probably now, aren't I? Let's face it. So purple dye. I'll just make a couple because we're running out a bit low on blue dye. Ooh, we're making it out of wool weed at this point. Gosh, okay. Maybe I need to grow some tulips. So I can make more blue dye with it. Hmm, okay. I'll uh, I'll pop those in once we've got a little bit of space in the greenhouse. Right, so the next thing I want to do, got the wellspring task, little bit of fishing. I'll just fish close to the, close to the farm, I guess. Um, we're looking for two new fish. I think they're going to be big fish. But they're also going to be a bit rare, so they might take a while to find. Gotcha! But I'm going to keep going. Darters are actually quite rare. Ah, sad times. It's a... I don't think that's going to get me anything new because I think it's a it's a little lobster looking guy. And those guys... Oh. I've already caught all of the lobster looking guys. Oh. Wow. Pretty, pretty sure anyway. But if I want to reset the, sp the fishing spot, uh, then I need to just keep catching, so... Basically, if you look at it, what I think... Well, my assumption, anyway. Oh, hang on. Did we recently get something new? Oh, yeah, we got the shad. We got the shad recently, so it's just this one. So, something between... W and then S. S. Sucker. Minnow, pupfish, smelt, studfish, darter, gar. So I think that they're small ones. Oh, I bet these are the ones that look like... Look like salmon. And I bet these, those two, are the ones that are like purple fish. So there'll be something along those lines. So there's actually more... So like those purple fish. I don't. So I don't think it'll be a purple fish. Unless it's the other way around. I'll pay attention, actually. Because there's these type and there's the type that look like the salmon. That's a sucker. So shad and sucker would have been the purple fish. And so the one I'm looking for will probably look like a salmon. These two come from the critters, the eel and the crawfish. Those two come from the ones that look purplish these three four sorry those four come from the small fish and these four come from the ones that look like salmon that's why the alphabeticalization starts again you see i think i've worked out the method that'll help me down in the ocean as well actually oh, yeah. So let me have a look at the ocean fish, actually. Yeah, because I was going to say, I've only got one or two to find in the ocean as well. Um, so small fish. Okay, so we've got all the ones from the ones that look like salmon, I think. Because what did we get out from... I got like a sucker, didn't I? So, yeah, so. It's going to be one of the purple fish, I think, that will get me what the two things that I'm missing from the sea. Interesting. Very interesting. It's it, That's going to be helpful if I just want to try and 
be very specific, but the problem is the spots are not going to reset. So I may need to fish spots that I don't have yet, but it's, a, you know, it's a good way to try and work it out. So, uh, Wesley, I don't have anything for you right now, so let's see if we can make some roast beef. I think that'll be an oven thing. Yep, yeah, I can make enough for a few days worth. I think we might have a new Wesley date coming up very shortly. Wesley date number five. Hmm, how did you know I'm hungry enough to eat an entire cow? Because you always are, every day. Although, I'm that hungry on most nights. Night, Wesley. Boop, boop. Ooh, maybe I need to do another boop. Uh, I don't know if I get... No, I don't get uh, extra points for the extra oh, boops. Am I ready for bed? But uh, tomorrow's gift will definitely give me the fifth date. Oh. What a day! What a crazy couple of days, actually, we've had. Loads of exciting things happening. And I'm wondering if an exciting thing will happen tomorrow as well. Because now we're past oh. the wedding, we're past the... And if it doesn't, then... I think it might be wise to go to Coven. But it looks like no. Okay, so um, we're just going to like make cute clothes. Oh, I didn't put the purple cloth on. I was going to make cute purple overalls for the, for the autumn time. Because... Obviously, we need them. I, I'll have to see what colour the wellies come out. Because you never know until you make it. Like, that one has really cute yellow wellies. I don't like the pink sherbet. I think it's just... That's just too much. That's just way too much. The harvest brown is actually kind of, like I say, it it, it gives me, like, um, Jodie Whittaker, Doctor Who vibes. 100%. And the cookies and cream... It's just a bit boring, isn't it? The maroon ones, they're nice denim, but I think we may just go for like mulberry sparkle. Maybe basil and denim, that's quite a nice combination. But go nicely with Tara's eyes, I think. The all natural is quite nice too. I mean, there's no reason I can't have a whole load of different overalls, because why can't we have a different set of overalls every day for working in? And then have a couple of nice dresses. We'll probably go with, like, these cute, like, short dresses, because they are, like, the way nicest. Then I may have a long dress, or... The Starry Skies day dress is quite nice. But they are, they're a little old-fashioned, I think. But these, these look really nice. The blue one looks nice on. The, re the ruby red would look amazing, I think. I want to try and make that. Red, red cloth. Okay, let's make some red cloth. Is that like all I need for it? Red cloth? Because is, is it something that I... Oh, and black leather. Hmm. Do I need the black leather for my overalls? No, I need yellow. I need yellow leather. Oh, was I making these ones then? Yeah, I was. I was making mulberry sparkle first, wasn't I? So, no, I don't, I don't need it. I just need normal leather. That's fine. Right then, I think we should go and see Yori next. In fact, I'm going to use my broom because I'm lazy. I'm almost certain Yori's a witch. I'm just getting that witchy feeling. <laughs> You're not open yet. Oh man. Okay, so uh, let's go and say hi to Hazel then. The summer fest is a lot more relaxing when you don't get zapped into a fairy village with no warning. 
Well, the kids enjoyed the bonfire, and I enjoyed the snacks. <gasps> oh, want to know the most exciting thing, though? The Fae joined us. We prepared offerings, Gloria extended an invitation, and everyone showed. I'm going to need to do another one soon to tell her about the wedding. Always pop in there, just in case. Oh! Shy, you've been one of my best patrons. Once you let me work my magic on your hair, I noticed the regulars pull in. That's awesome, Yuri. <laughs> you've done wonders with my hair. Magic. Magic hair, is it? Is it, Yuri? <laughs> Anytime, Sha. I love cracking a good creative challenge. I think it's amazing you run your own salon. Did you always want to work with hair? Sha, me? Mmm, I'm boring. Did you always want to be a farmer? Um, that's not at all. If you had told me as a kid what I'd be doing now, I would have thought you were joking. But I'm glad it worked out this way. Hmm, I guess our stories ain't too far apart. When I was real little, I remember watching my mama retwist my daddy's locks. They'd sit on the floor and chat for hours. I miss listening to them. Hmm. Then, my TD took me in, and I got officially introduced to the family business. Girl, of course it was a hair salon. <laughs> TD, I don't know what that means. Is that like, um, a relative? Auntie, grandma, something like that? Hair's always been a part of my best memories. Miss AJ always said my stars wasn't that hard to figure out. That's so nice. I guess it helps you're pretty great at it too, huh? Mm hmm. Chill does. Now, sorry, Sha, but I do have a salon that needs straightening, okay? Fair enough. New acquaintances. Hooray. So I can start giving you presents again. I don't know if I've got any cookies for you. I do. Now, what you know about pralines, Miss Wild? These look great. I'm impressed, Tara. And then we want to have chat. Child, you know how you can act like you're listening to someone, but you're really just singing a song in your head or something? Yeah. I do that when Cameron comes <laughs> in for a trim <laughs> and tries to soft pitch me on joining the consciousness center. Mm-mm. Right, second clue about witchcraft. First one, she said about magic in the hair. Second, she knew about the fae. Seemingly didn't seem that surprised about the Fae. Was happy that they were coming to the ceremony. Third. Uh, magic in the hair. The Fae. Not wanting to join the consciousness center. I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting magical vibes from Yori. 100%. It's like things like Francis. It's like, come on, the dude's surname was Cauldron. <laughs> or like, you know, a, 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 not quite pronounced that way, but it was still Cauldron. <laughs> of course he's going to be magical. Okay. And finally, the bit I've been looking forward to all this time, which is getting some new hairstyles. So, I really did want these for the summer festival. They look nice with the darker eyebrows, actually. Hmm. Very nice. Um, we didn't make the pomade for the high bun. Sad times. But the rest I own, so... Let's just keep um, one red dye, maybe, for that, then. Actually, I don't need to. Three new hairstyles available. So, olive twin braids, a copper ponytail, and a copper wolf cut. Oh, that's a new one. Copper wolf cut. I think that'd be really nice. That is adorable. I love it so much. Okay, um, I think we might want to change the eyebrows. Let's have a look and see if we want to or not. The auburn don't look too bad, actually. I think it is slightly better with matching. 
I don't know, what do you think? Do you think they're slightly darker or better? I don't want to go with completely black or like whatever, but the auburn doesn't look bad. Now let's go for copper. Uh, hopefully eventually I'll, I'll get the auburn version of that and it'll look quite nice, I think. But uh, we'll keep our twin braids for a bit. They look very summery. They're definitely a summer style. So we are getting there now. I want to go and see Gloria on the off chance. Oh, okay, something is going on here. I was thinking it'd be nice for everyone to have a chance to meet Yuri, but something fun, unlike a certain mayor's past game. What, Yuri? That it is tradition now. Yuri should have to do it too. <laughs> what about a welcome to Fairhaven party on the beach? Oh, so everyone will be there to talk to Yuri. That would be nice, yes. <laughs> Rather than Yuri have to run around everybody's individual places. I like it. We can make it a surprise party. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like fun. Count me in. Great. It's on the calendar then. Would you mind talking to Parker and Sophia? We'll need decorations and, of course, food. I'm on it. Okay, speak with Sophia about creating a dish for Yuri's welcoming party. Speak with Parker about creating lights for Yuri's welcoming party. Uh, get townsfolk around town to help set up the work. Are you kidding me? I have to go around and see... Hmm, oh. Gloria. Not amused. Say what? <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> go and see if Parker's open. And there goes see Sophia. Sophia's gone off the island, though. So she might not be around. We'll have to see. Mm, nothing yet. Okay. I've been itching for an excuse to try crafting string lights lately, but the next festival is already squared away. You're in luck. Gloria's organizing a surprise party for Yuri. We'll need decorations if you're willing to help. I'd love to. This is the perfect event for them. Besides, it'll be a nice way to welcome the new arrival into town. I'll need materials, though. Mind helping me out on that end? Was expecting sure it. Sure thing, Parker. Will it be glass? Small glass light bulb. Okay, let's go and make some of those. I'll go and see if Sophia's around, but I, like I say, I was, I'm not expecting her necessarily to be around right now. I know she's kind of on her... Honeymoon slash second wedding slash whatever. Um, so it's closed on a Monday anyway. I might not. Oh, no, she is back. Lovely. Hey, Sophia, Gloria's putting together a surprise party for Yuri. Would you be able to contribute a dish? Oh, what a fun way to welcome her to town. I'm in. I want to cook something that'll make her feel like home. But I can't figure out what that might be. Every time I ask Yuri about her favorite foods, we end up talking about what I like instead. Maybe I'll need to go and do it instead then. I can actually help with this one. She loves jambalaya. Thank you. I'm so glad I can stop stressing over that part. Oh, while I have you, I can already guess we'll end up needing extras. Could you get me more shrimp and rice? I think that'd go a long way. You got it, Sophia. I need one shrimp. Bruno! Oh no, Bruno's closed. Fishy! I'll put the lamps, uh, the light bulbs on and I'll see if Fishy has a shrimp for me. And then we'll have to see about who else around town we need to talk to. So I should have unlocked light bulbs at my... How many do we need? Six. How long do they take? Oh, like two hours. That's fine. Okay, that's four light bulbs for me. Uh, Fishy is back here. Oh, Fishy ran out of bait. Fishy doesn't have any shrimp either, so tomorrow what we need to do... Oh, actually, you've got loads of bait left. So that means you run out of your... Of your power hey, diamond. Fishy. Go fish. 
Zephyr will be close today, but I've got a few um, other gems and we can just slowly work our way through them. And uh, on Wednesday, when Zephyr's open again, I think it's Wednesday, yeah, we can go and sort some new gems out. Yes. Oh, Zephyr would like to visit other goblin towns someday. Oh, so cute. Right then, so the last part is... Natalia, Parker, Damon, Angus and Sophia will all want help at different times, so keep checking in with them. So we've done um, Parker and we've done Sophia. So Angus, Damon and Natalia. Let's just have a quick check in with them. Doing all right? It's funny, but I feel bad for Vanessa. The whole time she lived here, she was looking for acceptance. We all would have been her friends if she'd let us. I don't, I'm not convinced how true that is, but we'll see. Oh, well, we won't see, I guess. I'll have a chat with Angus, just make sure. I'm so glad we got a new salon and not another bakery. I have nightmares of competition moving in one day. I think you'll be okay, Angus. We'll never be as big as milk water. Okay. And then we can have a chat with Damon if we can find you. Yeah, okay. Even one new addition to the dating pool makes it feel exponentially larger. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. Hmm. Good luck on those odds. I do wonder whether it will pair off the rest of them. Like, if I don't choose them as a as a spouse. It'd be interesting, huh? Because it did it with Amira and Kim, so it set a precedent now. Mm. See, I don't know whether I can turn the season yet. I don't know whether we need to do this party first. I mean, I don't think a beach party would work quite so well in the in the fall as it would in the summer. Okay, so I think my next job then will be to just carry on fishing a little bit. Keep handing in hair dyes. Why am I following Francis? Well, I haven't actually spoken to Francis in a long time outside of... I know it's petty, but I love seeing how uncomfortable Cameron looks whenever the Fae come to a festival. <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> like, I do still want to, like, every so often check in with them and just see if they've got new things to say. And if the things seem like they're very far behind, then I know I need to check in with them more. But yeah, none of them seem to have any, any like, suggestions at the moment. So I'm kind of looking mostly for fish that look, I think anyway, I haven't spoken to Amira in ages. Apart from at festivals, I speak to everybody at festivals. Have you met my new patient? She's stunning, but seems shy. I'm curious to get to know her. I have, I have and she's amazing. I'm curious to see how she'll do with the whole magic island thing. Like I say, I think she knows a lot about magic already. I've just got this hunch. Me too, now that you bring it up. Okay, let's uh, just pop over the other side and just see if there's any other kind of fish that I want to check out. Quick chat to Sophia. How's married life, then? It'll be a fun challenge figuring out Yuri's favorite dishes. It's always exciting when someone new arrives. And you just figure it out through conversation? Or do you have a secret favorite food Sophia sends? <laughs> I guess it's a little bit of both. How else would you go about it? Crystal ball. I don't know. Crystal ball. <laughs> um, okay, I want to fish here, actually. That's a kind of purpley fish, and I want to pay very close attention to which fish uh, actually comes out so I can have a, an idea of which kind of fish I want to be looking for. 
Oh, quick! I know I absolutely do not want to be looking for the lobster-shaped ones. Ah, oh yeah. Okay, so let's see what we get and see where it sits. So we caught a sturgeon. What that means, in terms of the ocean. Yeah, it will definitely, definitely be a purple fish. These are the red fish. These are the small fish. These are the red fish. These are the purple fish. And these are the uh, squid clam lobstery looking ones. So I definitely do want to be getting a purple fish. If I can. Not one there. That is the wrong type. That's the salmon-y looking one. And that's another crayfish. Another crayfish looking one. Another one there. Another one there. That's another salmon y looking one. Here. I could be a lot more selective now. Oh, quick! No, we don't want that one, Tara. Another sturgeon. That's a bit annoying, but never mind. So yeah, we've kind of worked out a bit of a plan. Problem is, there's not enough of them around. So I'm going to have to fish some more up or just wait for tomorrow. I don't know. But there's none of the ones I want there anymore, so I might have to try and reset some of the fishing spots. But yeah, I can see why the sea is so difficult. Okay, I'll just catch this one, I think. But I'll catch it with a worm. If I'm resetting the spot, I may as well just use a worm, right? This pink one with the silver face. And that's a mackerel, so let's just see if that fits in with what I think I should be what I think it should have been. So in the ocean. Mackerel. Yep. So that's in amongst the ones that I think are the red ones. These ones are the purple ones. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of the purple ones out of the seven. So when that spot re Populates. No, it's, it's got another one of those fish in it, sadly. So maybe I'd be best off like fishing the small fish and then seeing if the respawn gives me a bigger fish, possibly. But we're definitely wanting to look for the purpley, pinky looking fish. You know the ones I mean. We definitely want to be looking for those more than anything else. But no, I think it's probably time just to run home. And I expect it will repopulate tomorrow. So we'll just keep trying. Um, I'll have a look at, back at the farm and see if there's any... Any good looking fish up here. That's the wrong kind. That is also the wrong kind, so I'm not even going to try. At least I've got it a little bit more narrowed down now, so would you like some more beef? <sighs> On a date then.
Hmm. How did you know I'm hungry enough to eat an entire cow? Although, I'm that hungry on most nights. There we are. We've got the final date. Wait, uh, not the final date, sorry. A mountain... Uh, mag sorry, mountain magnetism. And then we're now working towards the final one. Nice. I will go on that date tomorrow, though. I think it's time for bed today, to be Is honest with you. Is it time for bed? Yep. <sighs> So yeah, I think I want to do Yuri's party and then like turn the season. So yeah, we're certainly not going on a date. Uh, Wesley, you got any of those nice speed spells like uh, hanging around at all? Uh, maybe. Uh. It's not my forte, but could I help around the farm? We're a team, and I want to do what I can to support you. What happens if I say leave it to me? I now? appreciate the offer, but working the farm helps clear my head. Books do the same for me. Do what feels right, sweetheart. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's um, head downstairs. Got some more conditioner to make some more wonderful hair dyes. A purple one. I can make a couple of black ones. Blonde one. And we're out of conditioner. Okay, nice. Shall we put some more on as well? Just keep going with it, I, I suspect. I need to go up to the mountain and get some more Nigella and then, like, just anything from Perry's shop tomorrow as well would be good. Um, short on the copper concentrates as well. I'll need to start looking at that. Speed boost longer for me. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Okay, so we want to go see Yuri first, or do we want to go on a date first? We want to check on the light bulbs first, probably actually, because they're all basically done. And then we can check on Natalia, Damon, and Angus again. Oh, I think I've got enough to make some of my clothes. Some of my really good ones. So I wanted to make that purple jacket and dress, didn't I? For the autumn. And I also wanted to make... Plum Shimmer Romper is just gorgeous. Really pretty. I, again, I wonder like what the boots look like with it though. I think you have slightly different shoes with different things. Um, so we wanted to make the Mulberry Sparkle overalls. Let's have a look at what they look like on. Well, I quite like those. They are quite nice. That's more summery though, but that that's not a bad little autumn look. I'm going to try the other ones as well. Yeah, I need a different hairstyle with it, I think, too. I don't think it goes quite with the, the cute little flowery blossoms. So, like, say... The darker styles, maybe? Actually, suddenly, with the right clothing, the olive... That's the olive eyebrows. The olive look doesn't look so bad, does it? Oh, they look quite cute with the auburn space buttons. What about the copper space buttons? Yeah, I think they look cute with space buttons. That would be a cute look. I would prefer like something with slightly, uh, slightly better welly color though. Like could have had amazing purple wellies with that, or could have had like all sorts of cool colors, and they went with like. Muddy cream. The worst. Okay, so let's put some cute shoes back on. <laughs> okay, this is my, my summer look for now. Okay, so let's go and see Yuri again. 
I do have a present. I need to make more though. I need to make things like jambalaya and things like that. Um, yeah, actually, let's run. Did I? Oh, did I put the? I didn't. We need two more light bulbs. Okay. Now I can run around and say hi to everybody else. So did I do what I needed to for Sophia? No, we need to go get some shrimp, don't we? And I know someone that sells that who will probably, I think, open on a Tuesday. Are we going to be open on a Tuesday? Are we going to be open on a Tuesday, Bruno? Yes. While I'm here, Kai, can I have some leather, please? We've got to make cute clothes. Super important to be able to make cute clothes. May I buy a shrimp from you? Thank you very much. May I also sell loads of stuff to you? Thank you very much. I say I only sell them once they get above about 10 because then I can just sell them all at once. Otherwise it just takes forever. Will do. Alright. So let's go see Sophia. I have all the shrimp you need. All this time, I thought nothing would make me happier than Otto leaving the island. But I feel sad for Bruno, if I'm honest. He lost Helena. Now this. Gotta make sure we show him some extra love. Yeah. I brought you the ingredients you asked for. Thank you. I've been practicing the dish to get the seasonings just right. It's going to be a good one. I can promise you that. Mm. I figured we'll be in for a treat. I'm looking forward to it. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, Tara. Thanks for helping Juliet with her bouquet. Oh, yeah. That was ages ago. Thank uh, uh, You're welcome. I know it might sound strange, but when we took them to Giacomo's grave, it felt like this heaviness lifted off of her. I think she's finally made peace with how things ended between the two of them. I was happy to help. Here, have this. It's the least I could do. Thanks. Got lasagna. Nom nom. I'm so glad we have a fresh face in town. We needed a professional stylist around. Maybe now Angus will finally let someone else trim his beard. <laughs> that might be a good thing, yes. Sebastian, I haven't spoken to you in a little while, so let's have a chat. Yuri's awesome. She offered to teach me how to do a fade so I can do my own hair. You know, for whenever I leave this place. That's awesome. I remember how expensive everything was when I first moved out. Aww. That is adorable. Okay, so now I've done that, um, I can go and have a look at what... Oh, no, let's go see Yuri. I'm going to have all the hairstyles unlocked before. Oh, I forgot to make pomade again. I always do that. I'll eventually remember. <gasps> Cameron's in there. Yuri's singing songs in her head. <laughs> okay, so I want to sell some more dyes. So, um, if I had some more Nigella, I could get the olive twin braids, which I don't have yet. Pomade and red hair colour for the... That one. Copper ponytail. Let's get it. <gasps> that is very cute. And the copper wolf cut. We need orange hair colour and pomade. Okay. So I kind of want to keep the olive one. I'm going to need a few more reds as well. Hey, hey, new hairstyles available. Hi, bun. Auburn bob tied. Sorry, bow tied bob. Bow tied bob. That looks cute. <gasps> oh, cloth and red hair color. So I need to go and get some Nigella. Pomade. Red hair color. Oh, 
more red hair color. Auburn short shag. I don't know what, ta uh, what I would think of Tara with short hair. I'm not so sure how much that's going to suit her. But I would love to see. So, and, so I need some orange and reds. And a whole bunch of pomades. To the back cave. Oh cool, my light bulbs are done. Wonderful. Um I needed to get pomade, red and copper. We've got some orange there, a couple of reds, a couple of pomades, I think. Why don't we make ten and then I've got enough for whenever. <gasps> this is going to be so cute. Alright, so I'll run past, uh, I guess we'll run past Parker's and hand the thing in. You're helping Gloria with the surprise party, right? Yep. I am. Will you be there? <laughs> I wouldn't miss it. Gloria asked me to make a special zero-proof drink for Yuri. I'll need ingredients I don't typically stock. Do you have time to help? Of course, Damon. You're not going to enchant these, right? Believe me, I've learned my lesson. Any experimenting gets tested on me first. I'll go into his bar one day and he'll... See, I knew I should have been buying that mint the whole time. <laughs> I've got the drink ingredients you asked for. Yeah, one day I'll go into his bar and it'll be like bright pink or something. Dope! Thanks for coming through on this, Tara. If you want to try out the recipe, you can. I'm calling it the Welcome Refresher. Ooh, recipe! Recipe! The Welcome Refresher can now be crafted in your kitchen so uh, wrong one that now means we've got is it one more drink to go yeah one more drink to go two more desserts to go one more frying pan recipe one more pot recipe that's it. We're very, very close to being done. Wonderful. Um, okay, so let's go see Yuri. And then let's go see Parker. Because hairstyles are more important than main quest lines. <laughs> do my hair, do my hair, do my hair, do my hair right now. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I didn't get the nigella for the olive twin braid, so that's okay. The olive ones I'm not as keen on anyway. Did, how did I not have any orange hair colour? What are you kidding me? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did orange. Oh, no. Alright, well, let's pick up the red styles. Let's see what this looks like. Short style. Actually, not so bad. Probably not what I would choose to use all the time, though. Bowtie Bob. <gasps> oh, that is adorable. I like that one. I need to go get some orange hair dye, though. I can't believe I didn't make orange. What am I doing? What am I even doing? I think, though, I'm going to go back to my braids for a bit. make any orange hair dye. It was terrible. Right, 
I think um, I'll have to work on the Nigella another day. Otherwise, we're not going to have time. I also want to go to the Coven tonight. Because obviously now a load of stuff has happened. Oh, and I need to go to see Parker as well. I might be able to see Parker, though not, not in the workshop. But it might be okay there. Copper wolf cut. So I think wolf cut is like sh shaved on one side or something. I, 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 no, is it? No, it's not. Is it? It's a a certain. You pull the hair up and you. Cut. I don't know. I'm not a hairdresser. That's Yuri's job. <laughs> I can't do the olive twin braids at the moment. I can do the copper high bun. Actually, not as bad in copper. It is really harsh in black, though. Okay. Let's head up to Parker quickly then before he shuts. I think we can make it in time. Just about. I hope these materials light up your day, Parker. <laughs> they sure do. Thanks for helping me out, Tara. Guess I better get started, huh? Say what? And then I don't know if I'll be able to check in with Natalia and Angus today. Not really. So maybe we could check in with them tomorrow. Did I? So we've done Parker, Damon, and Sophia. It's just Natalia and Angus now. Uh, what am I doing? What am I even doing? Any good clothes for me? Anything I want to wear? Like I say, I want a cute autumn look. I want the royal purple jacket and dress. So we need to make some purple cloth. Now, do I have any purple dye? No, no dye, no cloth. Okay. Make some cloth. And let's go make some purple dye. And then I will change my haircut, I think, again. As I'm not the keenest on the buns. The buns would be cute, cuter with a little bit of in front, not like so severely pulled back. But that is absolutely adorable okay so i think is the whole idea of the wolf cut that it's shorter on one side and longer on the other or something no it could be that i'm guessing hmm i could do with making some copper con as much as i like making conditioner let's make a couple of copper concentrates as well And I'm sadly using Nigella to make the conditioner, and I'm trying to save it up, but, you know, never mind. I'll get more eventually. And once I've finished having to make loads and loads and loads of conditioner, I will slowly grab more Nigella from Perry, so that's fine. Uh... What did I actually want to do down here? I, I, I don't know. I can't remember at all. My, my, I'm a blank. I guess when I work it out, I'll come back. To Coven. Let's see what's going on up there, if anything. I always want to check in on the second half of the season, just in case. But no, it doesn't look like anything much is going on. I could go maybe and go, uh, excuse me, and grab a bit of wool weed. We could definitely do that. And then I think I'm just going to end the episode and go to bed. We've got loads of cute hairstyles today. We're starting to, you know, properly make cute outfits for Tara to actually wear rather than just for unlocking Violet's shop. So that's really nice. We've got a date to go on with... I think we'll do it next episode. We've got a date to go on with... Uh, 
Wesley, which is going to be really cool. So you get to have a cute mountain date and then I'll work on unlocking the sixth one. So there we are. Gonna head to bed. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. In fact, no, I'll chat to Wesley first. We'll have a talk, just not a date. Oh no, we already did. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed the Time episode. Time for bed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.